Cheryl, we are across the street from the Kroger store where someone parked Cheryl Coker's car on October 2nd. Now, I did speak with William Coker late this afternoon. He didn't want to agree to meet me on camera, but he did agree to speak with me on the phone, and he told me that he was not in this parking lot and insisted he is not involved in his estranged wife's death. The, the question that police would ask you or our audience would ask you, did, did you have anything to do with Cheryl's death? Did you kill her? No, I didn't. I did not. And you have any... I've never, never in my entire life hurt anyone. William Coker was emotional, but also guarded and didn't expand on many answers. In his first ever recorded interview with News Center 7, he did offer a few thoughts we haven't heard before. Do you have any idea what happened to Cheryl? She was behaving in some pretty risky behavior right before she disappeared. I mean, you know, and I haven't really been willing to put that out there. But Coker there referred to not wanting the couple's daughter to know about that so-called risky behavior, saying that he is trying to protect her. Coker says he is innocent, but isn't sure how to protect himself now that police have named him the suspect in the murder of his estranged wife. Have you thought about or have you hired a lawyer? Uh, no, not yet, because because I didn't do anything. I didn't feel that I needed one, but I guess, I guess I'm going to have to. Coker spoke to me for about six to seven minutes, and we are continuing to go through that interview. Stay with us next hour. I'm working to bring you more of the things he told me about his future and how he gets through each day. For now, reporting live in Riverside, Mike Campbell, News Center 7.